Hi everyone, Cherie here. Today I thought I'd walk you through my 2018 December album. So the album I chose to use last year was the Felicity Jane Buffalo Check album. It is absolutely gorgeous, it has a beautiful soft feel. Uh, it's like a leatherette or a pleather. It has gold hardware, so you have these protective corners and inside the rings are also gold, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it does not have a book plate on the spine, but it is a lovely wide spine, so you can fit lots of pages in there, plenty of room for everything you want to include. And I just created my own little piece to go on the spine to tell me what year this album was for. So this black tree was actually from Felicity Jane that was included in the kit box uh, for 2018 and I've simply just added one of those Merry Days glittery stars this December 2018 Paisley Press chipboard piece I just backed it with some glitter paper because it was a sticker and then I've put a couple of little bells at the top as well so it has that Christmassy sound when it jingles and to attach it I just added some black and white twine and looped it on to the first ring in the album so it just sits nicely over the spine of the album when it's sitting on the shelf. So continuing on inside the album my title page I just used a transparency this was kind of similar to what I did last year so this was just a clear transparency. I used this Felicity Jane Holly Kit December word and stitched it onto the transparency. These numbers here are Felicity Jane and then I adhered one of those Merry Days glitter stars at the top there. So that was the very first page. Underneath that I've kept it nice and simple with a Felicity Jane paper to go behind that transparency. And then over the page I've got the December calendar. I believe that was in the Paisley Press Kit and I've used some Merry Day stickers on various days of the calendar and just filled in some of the important things that happened during the month. Okay over here I did have a large page to fill because I do have a big photo on the other side. So I made this one up using a 6x8 Paisley Press paper and then I've just added a chipboard piece from Paisley Press, that cute little car from the Merry Days collection, and a gold star. And I also stitched around the edge of that page. Okay, so day number one was all about our Christmas tree and decorating. So the first page here was just a large photo. I've added a Felicity J number there and a little star. Over here, um, I do have a little flip up here. Oh, somebody's actually left it flipped. So this was a Paisley Press card and I've just added a little gold star to that. Some star confetti. And this one I just made myself a little flip up, printed out my journaling, added a little tree stamp there and some washi to make the little flip. And then we've got the two photos. This one here is a little gold mini wide paper clip from Felicity Jane. So that just indicates that there's more to see underneath. So day two was all about our Christmas lights. So we've got the Tis the Season journaling card here. I just added a gold star to that. The journaling I just printed out, added some diagonal striped paper to the top with some stitching and the date stamp. And then over here we have the large photo which is the same size as the page protector dimensions. And I've simply added a large gold number two sticker. I think those stickers I found at my local Kmart, which I grabbed because I love the size of those numbers. I've stamped Twinkle Twinkle, which I've just stitched along and added a couple of glittery stars there. I've used one of those Avery tabs on the side of the photo, so you can grab that to turn the page instead of the photo. I believe the Around Here stamp was from Kelly Stamps. So on the back of that large photo we have another large photo. The Christmas Joy stamp was from Kelly Stamps. And for this one I've kept it nice and simple. I've got this gold fa la 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 from Heidi Swap, which I just stapled onto the page. Felicity Jane gold number there with a couple of Heidi Swap stars. 
And over this side, we've got a Heidi Swap Ho Ho Ho, which I've just stitched onto a plain white card and added a star to. And then I printed out my journaling and cut it into a tag shape and then just added some glittered ribbon to the top, which I think was from Kiki K. So day number four was all about uh, Madison's Year 7 Orientation Day. I've created this card to go on the back of that other journaling tag, uh, just using a Felicity Jane digital file here, and I just typed out the title myself using a font in my computer and just cut it into a tag shape, stitched around the edge, and that ribbon is at the top. The journaling down the bottom here, again I've just printed that out, backed it with some fa -la, la paper and this Remember This stamp was from Felicity Jane. Up here I've just used a Felicity Jane paper for the background and then made a little collage using some crepe paper fa -la, la die cuts and a little gold star. And then down here I've got a little Felicity Jane glittery number four for the day number. So the next day was Maddie's very last Christmas concert at school on day five. This card here was from Felicity Jane and I've added a Felicity Jane gold foil number to the centre there. I've created a little flip up here using some vellum. Uh, this gold star, I just used a big star punch and some glitter cardstock to make that star. I've got the All Is Calm, All Is Bright piece here, which is from Kerry Bradford Studio that comes as a cut apart printout that you can use. Up here I've created another little flip up so my journaling is inside with a Oh What Fun stamp at the very top from Felicity Jane and this pink card here somebody uh, shared that on Instagram as a freebie I cannot remember who offered it but if you if you remember seeing it please let me know I'd love to know who shared this one but I thought it was perfect for this page because it says uh, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear so I really love that and I've used one of those Avery tabs on the side to grab and flip up the gather together stamp and the love this season stamp were Ellie Edwards okay for day six uh, nice and bright with the red and white on this spread uh, this was about Maddie writing her Christmas cards, so I've just got a photo of her pile of Christmas cards. I've stitched a journaling strip on there and a little gold mini wide paper clip from Felicity Jane. The card here I've kept really simple from the Paisley Press kit, I believe, with just one of those Felicity Jane numbers. And this was also a Paisley Press card. Absolutely love it. So pretty with that Merry. And I've just got... Um, a little strip of paper there that says it's time to help spread the and then it says Mary so I just typed that one out myself added some stitching and a little gold star so day number seven was a day that I met Paul uh, out for lunch so I've got a photo of him I've used the Paisley Press stamp at the bottom here that says add this to the happy file with a little gold star. I made my own little tag here with a stamp that says eat, drink and be merry. And this number seven was put onto a little acetate piece and which I cut into a tag. So they are sort of hanging from the top of the photo using that little Felicity Jane heart paper clip. At the top there I've just got a punched heart which I've added some messy stitching to the inside. A little glittery gold heart laid on top and my journaling strips all have stitching across those just to add some texture. The background paper I believe was from Paisley Press. Over the page uh, this day I actually went and did a wreath workshop with a friend and I absolutely had so much fun I really enjoyed it. So I've just taken a photo of the wreath that I made up on the wall and all I've done is added that gold number eight in the corner. And I've actually added that on the outside of the page protector. To go with that, I've made a journaling tag here, just printed it out, cut it into a tag shape, added some Felicity Jane paper across the bottom and a little flower, poinsettia flower from my stash. The Today's Story stamp was from Felicity Jane, which I've just stamped and added some stitching to. Some of that same glittered ribbon at the top. 
I've backed that with some more Felicity Jane paper and the Tis the Season uh, journaling card which I've stitched around and just added a punched gold star. So again I used a smaller star punch with some glittered cardstock. This day number nine, I had so much fun doing this. This was a pocket page that was in last year's Holly kit with Felicity Jane. So I've decorated that with some washi. I've made a little banner here and I hung lots of little Felicity Jane pieces from that. And I, I just love this page. It was so much fun to put together. This one's about our advent calendars. So I've taken a photo of each advent calendar put the person's initial on there. These were both the boys, which is why there's an A and an R. And then on the back of each one, I've just written the little story about who it was for and why they chose that particular calendar. And then I've just got a different ribbon. I believe all those ribbons came with the Felicity Jane kit last year. And they just all sit nicely in that pocket. I just lined the, the pocket did actually come plain white and I've lined it with some Felicity Jane paper there. Okay on the reverse of that I've got some Felicity Jane lined paper. I've stitched around the edge and simply used a Fa La La sticker here and one of those Merry Days glittered stars suspended from the top of the page with a piece of twine and some staples. Over here for day 10 was when Maddie and I went to see the Nutcracker. So I've got a, a printout of the movie poster, photo of us. I've used a Felicity Jane sticker here with a gold star. Felicity Jane numbers here with more gold stars. The background was actually a 6x4 card, either from Ali Edwards or Paisley Press. I cannot remember which, but I just cut it in half because I really love that text background. And I've also got a printout of the movie ticket from that day. This little uh, popcorn paper clip I think I found at Kmart or somewhere like that but it was very appropriate for going to the movies. Next up we have day 11. This was all about our new ornaments that we purchased that year. So I've got a very simple black and white card down the bottom here with a paisley press chipboard. Up here I just printed my journaling directly onto this joy card and added a star to the center and then over here on this large photo all I had to do was add those uh, Felicity Jane numbers and a little gold star so keeping it nice and simple. Day 12 was all about uh, artwork that Maddie had done that year for Christmas uh, so she made she painted this canvas at school, which we took a photo of hanging on the wall when she got home. And I've just added the journaling directly onto the photo in Photoshop before printing it out. So all I had to do with that one is add the numbers and some stars. And then I've got two paintings that she did at home here. Uh, when I knew she wanted to paint them, made sure that I cut the cardstock to the right size knowing that I would want to put them into my album. So all I've done is backed those uh, two paintings together, added some holes in the side and that little star paper clip in the top right corner. And I love these paintings, they're so cute. The next day, day 13, was Madison's Year 6 graduation at uh, Clover. Totally fine for me to say that because she's no longer there. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be hiding this information. All right, so this transparency I actually made myself uh, in, this, in my Silhouette Studio software and I've used some white vinyl on this transparency. So I really love how that turned out and you can see the photos and everything through that title page. So over here um, I've used those large gold numbers for the number of this day and a little Felicity Jane sticker on the top of the page protector and then I've made a flip up here with uh, the journaling inside. I've got a large star on that photo and I've used some stamps on the side here for a little turning tab. Over the page was just a simple little story about these cute reindeer pops that we found, little ice creams on a stick. So I've used a Paisley Press card here uh, with some gold numbers and a little heart, which I think was from the Falala -la collection, little chipboard heart. This here was a pink Felicity Jane journaling card, which I've added my journaling to by running it through my printer. 
And then I've kept it really simple to finish this one off uh, using, I think it was a paisley press card, and I've just used a pretty Fala La sticker in the centre of that one. Day 15, this is one of my favourite pages in this album. I used a Kerry Bradford Studio file to cut out this large house, and I cut it twice, so the first one was cut from white cardstock, and then I cut it in reverse out of this red Felicity Jane paper and then I've got a transparency in between so you can see those gold stars in all the windows and the door then I simply added my number 15 to the doorway I stamped this wreath using Kerry Bradford stamps and added a little gold star there and they're stitching all the way around so you can turn that over I've used uh, some crepe paper stickers there and another little gold star on the back and then over here is more Kerry Bradford Studio goodies, so the stamping at the top there and this, this piece here was a printable and I've just added a little gold star onto that and onto the top of the tree there. Okay, so day number 16 was about our elf, so I've used some crepe paper to make this journaling card and used an Ali Edwards number on top and a little chipboard star. Uh, the Better Not Pout was a Paisley Press chipboard piece and down here I've printed my journaling onto this journaling card and I have these little Santa hats in my stash. These were little stickers I found at one of my local craft shops and I absolutely love them. They're adorable and all I did was layer on a little puffy um, sticker from the Merry Days kit. Up here was just a star paper clip that I had in my stash. So day 17 was all about my love of gingerbread lattes every Christmas from Starbucks. So I've got a journaling card here. I've done some messy stitching in the center of each of those stars and I've used some American Crafts glittered numbers there for the number. Uh, the turning tab on the side, I think, I think that was Kelly Stamps. So the holiday treat sticker and the favorite sticker I believe was Ellie's Studio and I've added stitching to those and we've got another Paisley Press journaling card at the top here. I also have the bag <laughs> that Starbucks gave us for one of our treats that we had uh, at Christmas last year because I just love the colors. It's a fun addition to the album I think. So day 18 was about writing out Christmas cards. I was a little bit late that particular year getting them all written, but better late than never. I did actually put my journaling onto this envelope that was in the center of the table there. I had seen somebody else do something similar uh, and I really love that idea. I cannot remember who that was. It was quite a while ago now, but I just love how that looks. And all I did was add the number 18 and a star to the top. And then I've got this holiday love tab. All is bright on the back and I believe that was from the Paisley Press stamp set. So the back of that large photo was another large photo for day 19 and all about our wrapping paper. So I've used more of those American Crafts glittered numbers, a couple of red stars and just one line of journaling there which is stitched on and I did stitch all the way around the edge of that page. So I've got a beautiful transparency here, I believe that was an Ellie Edwards transparency and then on to day 20. So this was about just an ordinary day at home, but Maddie did end up making some peppermint bark that day. So I've got a large photo. I've used Felicity Jane letters for the title there, for the number for the day. And I've stitched across the middle and just added a little, uh, I think that was a crepe paper fala la sticker to the edge there. And again, we've got another turning tab on the side. This one says naughty and nice because <laughs> that's what that is. And on the back, day 21 was a bit of an interesting day here. We had a huge storm come through and it blew our tree down in the backyard and made a real big mess. So of course that had to make it into the album. I've got uh, the stamp here it says, here's the story, which is an Ali Edwards stamp. I've used some Felicity Jane paper across the top of the large photo and across the bottom of the journaling tag that I've made. And I've stitched across that as well. I've got a wood veneer piece here with some Felicity Jane numbers for the day number. 
And over here I've used an Ali Edwards chipboard piece with some Felicity Jane wooden stars and I've used a paisley press stamp at the bottom here that says all is not carb which absolutely suits that day. Again just use some more of that Kiki K ribbon at the top and a piece of twine and I did stitch around this tag as well. On the back of that tag I've just kept it really simple with a little gold bow on top of a wreath sticker from the Merry Days collection and you can see the stitching around the edge there. So I've got another cute little transparency there leading into day 22. This was about uh, a bit of wrapping we did that day so I've got pictures of the presents under the tree there. All I've done is added an Ellie Studio sticker to the middle there on a piece of vellum a little gold star. I've used the Felicity Jane numbers again. I stamped around the tree into this little um, area that was already on the journaling card and just a little gold star there. This um, journaling card up here I just made from some Felicity Jane pattern paper and I've added a chipboard piece from Crate Paper with a little bit of twine at the top. So day 23 was all about our Christmas baking. I've used some Felicity Jane numbers on one of these uh, Ellie Edwards journaling cards. Uh, this journaling card I think was Paisley Press and I've just date stamped in there, added a little bit of stitching. I added the journaling using my printer and I've got some Felicity Jane stickers on each of the photos and another couple of chipboard pieces from Crate Paper. This Homemade with Love sticker was from Heidi Swap and I've just added a little heart to that. Over the page, still part of day 23, was a large photo of the cookies we made and decorated. And I love that photo. I really love how that turned out. All I did with that is add a little Felicity Jane cookies piece to the centre of the photo. So now we're at Christmas Eve. So this was a night that we just spent at home together watching Christmas movies. I think we watched Home and Away. Oh, home and Away. We watched Home Alone and The Polar Express, which was a lot of fun because we hadn't watched those in a couple of years. So we really enjoyed this evening. I've used some more of those Ellie Studios uh, phrase stickers here uh, and on the back. I've got them on each of these photos. This photo here I just left as is. But all I did was add a couple of gold stars. The journaling was printed out onto this Ali Edwards card and I've used a uh, One Canoe 2 date stamp on that one. I really love the small font. It really fitted in that space really nicely. On the reverse I've got another Paisley Press journaling card here. I just added a star to that and I've got another one of those Felicity Jane circular chipboard pieces which I've adhered to the outside of the page protector. Okay so here we are at Christmas Day. I've got a transparency here which I think was Ellie Edwards and it had this star garland on it and I wanted to make sure that this glittery star underneath was hanging down below the garland. So I've got the large number 25 which is an Ellie Edwards uh, numbers from a couple of kits ago and I've backed that with this paper which I think was from Paisley Press and then I've got that Merry Days uh, star suspended from the top of the page there. On the reverse of that is a large photo from Christmas morning with all the presents under the tree. I've simply added a strip of paper from Felicity Jane across the bottom there with a Paisley Press Christmas morning chipboard piece and a little star. And then I've added this December 25 from the Merry Days collection. And that green also ties in with the um, Christmas tree paper clip I've got at the top here and this little fa -la, la piece that I've adhered to the outside of the page protector. So once again using more of those little gold stars I've got a Christmas Day stamp which I think was from the Kelly Stamps stamp set and another one of those um, Ellie Studios Christmas phrases. I think that journaling card was Paisley Press. Okay, so the last page here, I've printed my journaling onto an Ellie Edwards card from a couple of kits ago. I've, all I've done for this Paisley Press card is add a cute little star. And then for the photo, I've got another Ellie's Studio um, phrase sticker and a Paisley Press chipboard piece that says Holiday Selfie. And I've got a little star there, a little turning tab that says Joyful from Kelly Stamps. And the very last page says Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. This was a printable from Kerry Bradford Studio which I thought was a perfect way to end the album and I've simply added a couple of stars to that. 
and then there's just a plain piece to finish it off. So that is my 2018 album complete. I hope you've enjoyed this little walkthrough. Hopefully I might have given you a few ideas for your album this year. Let me know if you've got any questions. Just pop them in the comments area down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, there are individual videos for each of these days if you'd like to see more details or how I've put these pages together. Um, but I've really enjoyed doing this album and I'm looking forward to doing my 2019 album this year. So until then, I'll continue to share some other projects with you here on my channel. And uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.